Good evening. I'm Andrew Hawkridge. And I'm Mike Ball. Welcome to Kojiko Studios. Wait, I'm Andrew. Let's switch. Um, okay. Okay. Oh. All right, let's try that again. Good evening. I'm Andrew Hawkridge. And I'm Mike Ball. Tonight's top story, local news organization TV Kojiko North Bay has been bringing you community news for close to a decade. Today we take a look from behind the scenes at the reporters, producers, and volunteers who bring you the local news. We took our cameras in the studio as well, and this is what happened. No cameras. Get out of here, come on. Get. Get out of here! Just kidding. Could you imagine? Lead anchor and producer Greg Estherbrooks talks about what got him started in working for Truly Local Television. Uh, the freedom. You get to do a lot, you get to call a, you get to really mold the newscast the way you want, cover what you want most of the time, and you get to do, um, uh, I get to pick and choose what I get to cover. I get to have a lot of input, which is good, which is really good. I think I've been around long enough to have a pretty good idea what should be in news and what shouldn't be in news. And so that part I like. I like the freedom. Throughout Greg's ten and a half years with Kojiko, he has been filling his shoes with local content. In Greg's job, he does a lot from interviewing to anchoring to editing and writing the news for 5.30 and 6 p.m., which you can watch daily on Channel 12. Getting the introduction into the media business, Greg found himself working for a small TV station in Manitoba in 1985. Before that, Greg graduated from Canada College in the radio broadcasting program. Yeah, it was good. I think it's evolved. I think it's stronger now than it was then because I think they've gotten to more specifics now. So in those days, it was kind of a little bit of everything. So I think it's, it's, it's evolved from what I understand. Greg has enjoyed his time with TV Coach Co. and encourages many to follow in his footsteps and volunteer for truly local television. Because you get to do everything. You really do. And I, I can tell you, I went to Canada. Or I know what the college experience is like. It was great. It was a great learning experience. But you learn more in six months in the field than you learn anywhere. In the six months of school, you learn a lot more in the field. There's more pressure when you're in the field because you have tighter deadlines. And again, when you're here, you get to do everything. And to me, so if you go from here, especially if you're a young person, to somewhere else, you can say, yeah, I did that, or yeah, I did that. Sometimes in some places you don't get to say that, and here you do. Besides fighting for his own position at the news desk, Greg has also competed with other local news organizations like CTV and The Nugget in filming for an exclusive story. But covering certain events that only happen locally could be somewhat of a challenge. Well, I mean, I wish, you know, a lot of stations have downsized, unfortunately, over the years. So I think that's heard newspaper outlets have, uh, have downsized. So I don't think we get to as much as we used to. We try the best we can. Uh, I think the media in this town is probably a little too forgiving sometimes of, of politicians in most cases. I think that should, it, like, stuff that would go on in Toronto that would be reported might not get reported here. And in a small town, you don't want to burn all your sources or, or, or anger somebody because they won't talk to you after that. In Toronto, they don't seem to care, you know, because the thing is they will still need to talk to the Star or the Sun or CFTO or whatever. So I think, you know, there's a, there's a different dynamic in the relationship between certain bodies, political organizations, and the media. So what makes Kojiko stand apart from other competition? A lot of reasons. Uh, because we devote ourselves to stories that a lot of other... Uh, well, especially the other TV media doesn't cover anymore. We're truly local, which isn't a cliche, it's an actual fact. I mean, we're 100% local. We go in more in depth in stories than a lot of other media outlets can. Uh, we get to do a lot of specialty stuff, sp shows and special presentations that other stations locally don't do. Our election coverage is great. Uh, we just do a lot of things that no one else does, and we give everybody a, a wider look at what goes on in the community, which I think is really, really beneficial. And how important is it for you to connect with uh, the audience or the community? Well, you have to connect. If you don't connect, there's no connection with them to you. If you don't, if they're not interested in what you're saying, you know, they're not going to watch. So it's, and it's also important, I think, to be out there, even without a camera, just to go out, 
go to different events, people want to say hi, people want to talk, people want to do things, you know, with you and get to know you and, and have you host their events or something, just show up and help out. So, I mean, that part is, you got to get, if they don't know you, like, on a person-to-person basis, when you're out in the community, it's hard to, to, to build that audience. If you do choose to volunteer or even perhaps work for Kojiko, Greg assures you that the working environment is friendly, welcoming, and all that. Uh, pretty well everybody I've worked with here has been, a, you know, a fun to work with. Um, a lot of them, when they first start, you got to kind of teach them, and then after a while they start. I learn stuff from them, though, too. I think the, uh, the feedback we get off each other, we do, like I said, we do tease each other a lot, but I think when it comes down to crunch time, we work together pretty darn well. In one last statement, Greg explains what he's most proud of working for TV Kojiko North Bay. I would say some of the bigger stores that we've broken and some of the ways we've been able to cover things that uh, other media doesn't have the opportunity to expand on. You know, we can do stuff more in depth. That's probably what I'm most proud of. Some of the election stuff is really important too. That was spectacular, Andrew. Now let me have my 15 minutes of fame. TV Kojiko North Bay producer Melanie Miller started working at Kojiko after graduating from the television broadcasting program at Canador. She talks about the Kojiko atmosphere. Um, I think the big thing is just the fact that we're able to bring in our volunteers and allow them to have that direct impact in the programming and to, uh, to have that hands-on experience in various capacities, whether it's camera work, audio, uh, creation of graphics, uh, working in a studio environment or through a mobile production unit. Uh, there's so many different areas that our volunteers are able to assist with uh, and that's truly what makes it uh, uni unique. Um, the fact that they're able to directly impact the programming that we see. Volunteers are an essential part to Kojiko's success, and that is how Melanie Miller got her start. I actually went to Canador, uh, took the television uh, broadcasting program, and started as a volunteer here at Kojiko. Uh, from there, I uh, went on to be an administrative assistant, and uh, then worked my way up to, to management position. So. I, I've seen a lot uh, in, the, in the 12 years and um, you know it's just things are evolving and things are going well and, and certainly happy to you know be in a position to make such a positive impact in the community. Kojiko is truly unique with the amount of volunteers they take on. Unlike other television broadcasters such as Bell Media and Rogers, Kojiko TV is the definition of truly local television. It's not, I, I don't find it's difficult to compete with uh, different stations. Uh, we do provide unique services here in, in different areas, uh, one being our uh, Kojiko News coverage. Um, it's something that, uh, it, it fills a niche in, in this community by, by providing the, uh, the local news coverage uh, that's uh, relevant to the North Bay Calendar area, and also just the uniqueness of uh, our ability to open the doors to our volunteer. Uh, group to come in and directly impact uh, the programming that we provide. Kojiko is the place to go as a volunteer if people wish to pursue a career in television broadcasting. If you're looking to further advance your skills in media communications, Kojiko North Bay is the place to be. Uh, we just encourage people to come out, uh, volunteer their time. Uh, there's so many different opportunities uh, here at Kojiko, so we welcome uh, more people on board. And there's journalism students, <laughs> or those that want to work behind the scenes as well. Out of 21 Kojiko TV systems in Ontario and Quebec, North Bay has one of the leading local television stations providing high-quality services to the Blue Sky region. I guess the mandate would be to provide uh, overall service, um, uh, great service uh, to customers in a variety of different areas. Um, as mentioned before, in the area of cable, high-speed internet, phone services, and local programming, uh, so high quality services at uh, affordable rates and really, really great customer service. Melanie describes the audience and how volunteers shape North Bay media. Uh. Uh, target audience are all walks of life. Um, we bring in so many different people of all age groups, uh, from high school students up to those that are retired. Uh, with programming, we try to target all those age groups, and um, you know, a lot of times we leave it to the volunteers to, to come up with the ideas that are offered through the community. So we like to see uh, as much variety out there and try to target as much of a demographic as we can. Let's take a quick commercial break while we let our sponsors do some advertising.
Welcome back. We now go to Mike Ball, who's standing out in the field. Mike, what's it like out there? Uh, well, Andrew, it's... Thanks, Mike. We are now joined by Mike here in the studio. Mike, what was your favorite part of the Coach Co trip? Uh, it was actually when Greg was explaining how we got his start in television, and your comment right after was just priceless. <laughs> Let's take a look. Did you get your start? It was in radio? Uh, no, it was in television out in the little station that no longer exists in Manitoba, in Dauphin, Manitoba, in 1985. Ah, so Before you were born. Yeah, probably. Um, why did you... What was your favorite moment? Uh, my favorite part was probably when we were filming with uh, Greg and we were filming like unexpectedly and he caught us and then we stopped afterwards. Yeah, I know. I know. Are we, ro are we rolling? Are we? Yeah, I think we are. Why are we Secret rolling red? through all this? Mock. Yeah. Ing. Yeah. Bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mockingbird, don't everybody have you heard? Have you heard? She's gonna buy me a mockingbird. Andrew, we're back. Oh, okay. Now, here's some clips we filmed, but we didn't know where to put them. Yeah, it was. Hello, Melanie. How are you? Any more what? Well, Mike, what would you expect to get on that on this presentation? Good, good, me too. Um, wait, I want to try something. Where'd you go? I'm at Coach Co Studios. You want to be pretty cold right here. Let me go back to the studios, Mike. So, Andrew, we really don't have anything left to show, eh? No, I think we're out of stuff to show. Take it away, Andrew. 